Hi, today I'm going to be talking about another way in which we can have um, the issue of endogeneity. So just to remind ourselves, endogeneity means that we have a violation of third gauss Markov assumption, which is the expected value of the errors given our independent variables x does not equal zero. And we know under those conditions that our OLS estimates, uh, estimate as beta, will likely be biased. So another way we can actually get that, um, this issue of endogeneity, is through something which we call measurement error. And explicitly, it's measurement error in the independent variable. And I want to give an example of how this might happen and some of the intuition uh, about what's actually going on. So let's say we were interested in finding out how a company's sort of advertising expenditure actually affected their sales. And say that there, there was some sort of nice relationship between the two, so the bottom one here being sort of company's expenditure on advertising and the top one being a company's level of sales. Uh, and this axis here just sort of being time. So this is the company's sales over time and this is the company's advertising over time. And let's say you're interested in finding out whether the sort of level of sales which a company experiences at a given time is related positively to the level of advertising, which um, or the level of spend on advertising. Forget for now um, the fact that there's probably a sort of causality acting in the other direction because companies tend to set their budget levels um, according to their advertising budgets. Um, assume that we're sort of looking at sales at sort of a daily level. So the sort of daily level of spend on advertising, how that tends to affect sales. So if that if we're sort of looking at that sort of time horizon, then perhaps this other reverse causal relationship isn't quite as important. Um, and we are, let's say we're concerned with a situation whereby we don't measure advertising perfectly. So when advertising is being measured perfectly, it's quite easy to see um, that there is some sort of nice relationship between advertising and sales. So perhaps beta OLS uh, in this circumstance might sort of output a value which is relatively close to the true value. So let's say the sort of true effect of one pound spent on advertising is incremental sales of £10. So perhaps that's the true effect. So that's the sort of population effect, if you will, of advertising on sales. But what happens if I don't measure advertising perfectly? Well, let's think about it if there was some sort of small error. So this sort of blue line here now reflecting the level of advertising which we actually measure which is related to the, so M is the sort of measured level of advertising, which is related to the true level of advertising plus some sort of small error V. Well, in this circumstance, maybe beta OLS will still pick up an effect of advertising on sales because there's still sort of some sort of correspondence between the two. But because the relationship isn't quite as neat as it is, was before, the correlation is going to be that much weaker which is going to mean that perhaps beta OLS actually outputs, uh, beta OLS only outputs a value of seven, which is, is downwardly biased. Um, it's perhaps not so easy to see for, this, for the situation where we have a sort of small amount of measurement error, but if we think about there being a sort of large amount of measurement error, so perhaps it does something like that, then perhaps if we were sort of to now regress sales on M, so now we're doing some sort of sales being regressed on um, alpha plus beta times M, and then we were to look at how uh, our OLS estimates of beta compare with the true value, well, perhaps in this circumstance, there might not be any picked up effect at all, or OLS won't actually sort of give us any effect at all. It might not be significant, statistically different from zero. So perhaps it would actually be zero. So I hope you can see that as the level of measurement error in my independent variable, so the amount of um, sort of the degree of variance of V, so in other words, the sort of sigma V squared, its variance increases, then this leads to 
an increase in the amount of buyers of our OLS estimates. In this circumstance, it leads to OLS estimators being downwardly biased. So as the level of measurement error in my independent variable increases, this leads to a violation of the Gauss Markov assumption of zero conditional mean of errors, um, which leads to beta OLS being biased.